Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be playing Dragon Age Origins. I know some people are going to be upset. We're taking a complete left turn here out of Skyrim, Fallout, Elden Ring territory, starting a brand new Let's Play here with Dragon Age Origins. I understand. I understand some people are going to be upset about that, but this is the game that I want to currently play. I kind of want to condense the YouTube channel into one solitary Let's play of one that I really am looking forward to. That currently is Dragon Age Origins. I've played this game one time and one time only before on Twitch. Uh, we did a full playthrough of it, but I've since forgot a lot of it. And I just wasn't in the right like mindset at the time to fully appreciate the game. Like It was a great playthrough, but I didn't fully... It, it was more about like, oh, people really want to want to see me play this than it was about me really appreciating the game, if that makes sense. So I want to take this opportunity to play through Dragon Age Origins and truly appreciate it as a game because it is a fantastic game. Uh, and basically go through again and, and experience it in the best way possible. So let's do it. If you enjoy this series, please remember leaving likes, leaving comments, subscribing with the bell turned on. All helps out this channel and series to grow. Thank you to those who do that. Also, if you want to go the extra mile, becoming a patron uh, on Patreon and also checking me out on twitch.tv slash Grovana also helps. All of that is in the description below. But otherwise, let's do new game here in Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age Origins or Dragon Age Awakening, which may happen. I don't know. There's a lot of DLC for this game. That may happen, we'll just see. But for now, Dragon Age Origins. The classic. Uh, and hopefully it works. I feel like I had to install a mod before. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Threnodes 813. So you want to fully breathe in the lore. I don't even remember if there's an intro cutscene or not. For instance, the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. Four hundred years. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. It 
may even be too late. For I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. What an awesome introduction cutscene that was. Wow, it still holds up because this game came out in, what, 2009 or so, I think? I'm forgetting exactly. Okay, time for the fun part. Character customization. Always uh, a joy to go through this. Um, <clears throat> if you want to skip through, I may provide a link. In fact, uh, I will provide a link. Uh, it is skip link. Uh, in the comment section below if you want to skip character customization, but this is an integral part of all RPGs, obviously. The background you select will determine which of six distinct opening stories you play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. So, as much as I want to play as a female, uh, because I don't do enough female playthroughs, I think we'll stick with male. Whenever I'm doing an entirely big, dedicated playthrough of a game, I typically like to go with characters that somewhat remind me of myself. So we're going to go with mail here, but let's read, uh, let's read the descriptions. We're going to take this one nice and slow, ladies and gentlemen, because I really do want to breathe in this game for all that it's worth, if that makes sense. Men and women in Ferelden are generally regarded as equals. Both genders are evenly represented in most organizations, noble houses and military, yeah, military forces. Well, that's pretty convenient, isn't it? So same description there. We're going to go with mail here. Now, this is the interesting part. We have three races here, human, elf, and dwarf. I'm so tempted to go dwarf because I have done uh, the, I, I did an elf playthrough on Twitch, so I don't really want to go elf, but let's see. Let's uh, start with human. The most numerous, yet the most divided of all the races. Only four times have they ever united under a single cause, the last being centuries ago. Religion and the Chantry play a large part in human society. It distinguishes them culturally from elves and dwarves more than anything else. Humans can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Racial benefits, strength, dex, magic, cunning. And I recently uh, joined my first D&D &D playthrough. I did a Pathfinder playthrough before in real life so like you know it makes sense so much how much these video game rpgs are obviously influenced from tabletop rpgs so playing D, &D a little bit will i think help me understand this more if that makes sense uh let's see we got elves once enslaved by humans most elves have all but lost their culture scrounging and impoverished living in the slums of human cities only the nomadic dalish i always forget if it's dalish or dalish i think it's dalish Tribes still cling to their traditions, living by the bow and the rule of their old gods as they roam the ancient forests. Welcome nowhere else. Elves can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Racial benefits, plus two willpower, plus two magic. So clearly more inclined towards magic for elves. Then we've got dwarves. Rigidly, rigidly bound by caste and tradition, the dwarves have been waging a losing war for generations, trying to protect the last stronghold of their once vast underground empire from the dark spawn, because it started where... The dwarves lived, obviously, in the deep roads, which is pretty cool. Dwarves are very tough and have a high resistance to all forms of magic, thus preventing them from becoming mages. Racial benefits plus one strength, dex, two constitution, 10% chance to resist hostile magic. Dwarves are probably the best, in all honesty, but I just can't get myself to play as a dwarf. I've never really wanted to play as dwarves in anything. I don't, I don't know why. Um, just the, the dwarven race and fantasy stuff usually doesn't appeal to me for whatever reason. Although I do think they're cool. I think we're going to go human here because again, I've done elf and dwarf would probably make for the most interesting playthrough, but my gut is telling me human. So we can be warrior, rogue, or mage as a human. We can be warrior, rogue, or mage as an elf. We can be warrior or rogue as a dwarf. So, yeah, that's the only difference. So we're going to go human, and then let's read the classes. Or the, oh, class, literal class. Wait, what? Human, noble, magile, wait, what? Wouldn't these be warrior, rogue, or whatever? Why are we getting, why are we getting different, why are we not getting class descriptions? Oh, there we go, okay. Warrior. Warriors are powerful fighters focusing on melee and ranged weapons to deal with their foes. They can withstand and deliver a great deal of punishment and have a strong understanding of tactics and strategy. Specializations. Oh, I kicked over my trash can. No.
All good. Strong understanding of tactics and, tactics and strategy. Specializations for warrior include Berserker, Templar, Champion, and Reaver. Class benefits for strength, dex, constitution. Okay. Unfortunately, I think warriors are kind of boring uh, in RPGs. Um, I feel like even in Dragon Age Inquisition, which we did a full playthrough of also, and Dragon Age 2 for that matter, warriors were just kind of boring. So I don't know about that. We've also got Magi or Magi, wielding a power as dangerous as it is potent. You know that magic is a curse for those lacking the will to control it. You anxiously await your harrowing, the one chance to prove yourself against the demons lurking without and within. Succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who warred against your kind. Uh, magic in Dragon Age is extremely interesting, especially being a mage. However, I played a lot of a certain mage character in my Twitch playthrough, and I don't think that I want to play as a magician because I constantly found myself playing as this other character since you can play as your party members. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. As usual, I typically go for the rogue. But let's also look at the backgrounds here. So if we go warrior, we have to be a human noble. If we go ma magi or magi, whatever, or mage... So this is, okay, the background is Magi. Then we have to be a Magi, or a Magi, whatever. But then if we go rogue, we also have to be a human noble. Uh, and then this is, I'm sure, dwarf, human noble, Magi. magi. There's probably Dalish and City Elf. And then there's, what is that one, I wonder? Let's see. I'm just curious. Dalish Elf, City Elf. And then if we're a dwarf, we can be a dwarf commoner or a dwarf noble. And then there's human noble, there's City Elf, and then there's... Yeah, okay. So we're going to go Human, and then let's read the Rogue. Rogues are skilled adventurers who come from all walks of life. All Rogues possess some skill in picking locks and spotting traps, making them valuable assets to any party. Tactically, they are not ideal frontline fighters, but if Rogues can circle around behind their target, they can backstab to devastating effect. Rogue specializations are Ranger, Bard, Duelist, and Assassin. Class benefits for Dex, Willpower, and Cunning. So we played as an elven uh, assassin, I think, rogue, but I played them completely rogue. So I think, yeah, I think we'll go human, male, rogue, and then we have to pick the human noble background. Born to wealth and power, second only to royalty, you find your training in both diplomacy and battle. Put to the test as your brother leads the, bat the, the bulk of your family's forces to war in the south. Yes, that is our character. Bam. Greetings. Hello there. And then let's see, Kuzland is our last name, and we cannot change it. Uh, let's take a look at the presets here. I pr I'll probably run through all of this, but let's take a look at the presets. I don't like spending too much time on actual character creation. As long as they look roguishly handsome, I'm typically good. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. We want a sort of rogue. Uh, maybe? That's a good starting point, maybe. No, no, no. Yeah, so I think we'll start with this one. Skin, skin, complexion, tone, tattoo. Do we have different tattoos? I myself have two tattoos, so maybe I have to represent here. Let's see. No, no, it would have to be something very subtle. No, and not too edgy, and all of these are, like, extremely edgy. And I just don't think it works for royalty anyways. So no tattoo color, no, tat no tattoo intensity. Maybe we can get a body tattoo. Skin complexion, let's see here, what do we have? Maybe there's like one, ooh, I like kind of the sunken eyes. I don't know exactly what type of character we're gonna be playing. I kind of like the sunken eyes though. Let's go with that. Skin tone, maybe we can go a little bit paler. Uh, yeah, that looks kind of neat. Let's see, maybe like that one. Hair, okay, yeah, I'm not too keen with this hair here. Let's see what else we have. Maybe there's some more roguish hair that we can, here, let's start at the beginning. No, 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 no. Maybe. No, no, no. Is there a length? No, no. Maybe? No, no. None of these stand out too much to me. Let's go back to uh, maybe the, the starting one, which was that one. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, what, okay we need a roguish beard here. Let's go with not that, not that, no. Tell me you're going to give me like a little bit of a roguish beard. Oh, really? There's not that much. Uh, I think we're going to go clean shaven here then. Hair, beard, color, 
Uh, let's see, maybe like a dark brown if you have that, but they don't really have any of the options that I want, honestly. Uh, let's see, too light brown. Okay, there we go. There's a dark brown. There's a really dark brown, and the last one was like black. Okay, let's go like that one. Eyebrows, what do we got? Let's see, maybe like a little more. I'm trying to make him like a little uh, kind of like, okay, that's the one. Eyebrows stubble, yes. Okay, maybe we can get, yeah, here we go. This is more the type of beard that I wanted. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see. Kind of like that one. I don't like the big, uh, that that looks way too weird. Eyebrow slash stubble color. Okay, maybe we can change that. Okay, we want one of these here. I think we go with the goatee. Yeah, eyebrow stubble color. Let's go dark brown. Good. Maybe we can make it a little red too. Eyes, let's see. Eye shape. I like the narrow sort of eyes. What else do we have? I want him to have kind of... Yeah, there it is. Okay, eye size is fine. Eye spacing is fine. Eye height is fine. Eye color. Maybe like a dark brown. I think I saw it somewhere over there. There we go. Brow depth, brow height is all fine. Nose, no shape. Let's see. The first one that stands out to me is going to be good. I like that one. Okay, size and all that's fine. Mouth height, lip size, mouth width, overbite or underbite, all fine. Jaw, cheeks, cheekbone depth, cheekbone width, cheekbone height. Do we have a height, cheekbone width, shallow full height? There we go. I usually like raising the cheekbones a little bit. There we go. Neck and ears. Ear height is fine. Ear size is fine. Neck thickness. Maybe that's, that's a bit of a thick neck, honestly. Let's go down one. Portrait. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Look up a little bit. Like that. Turn left or turn right. Maybe turn left just a little bit. Good. Camera distance. Maybe pull back just a little bit. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop. Okay. Move left or move right. Let's move left just a little bit. Center that up. Move up or move down. Background. Let's see. What do we have? I think there's like a blood red one, which I kind of like. Oh, I like these. Yeah, blue. My favorite color is blue. Expression. Let's see. Can we give him like a sort of cocky expression? Uh, no, that's not going to happen. Not like that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, voice. All right, let's see. Why is cocky? How do you do? Right, casting. Hmm, new weapon. I don't know about that one. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. No. Greetings. I've lost my concentration. Uh, maybe. Charmed, I'm sure. Ah, there, this weapon does nothing. Move aside, please. Greetings. Ah, my spell. This isn't working. Need some... You're in my way. Greetings. I have lost the spell. I must try another tactic. Greetings. Ah, my spell! My weapon does nothing! I guess violent? Although I'm not really a big fan of that description. And then finally the name. Let's see, what do we go with here? I was thinking of something with an A. Aiden, how about like... A... Thor. No, A... A... A, A, A. I'm going to have to think about this one. Otherwise, I'll make a too quick decision. Okay, and we're going to go with Ainthor Kuzland. Next. Points to spend. Okay, attributes. I've always said attributes, which is gross because I'm somebody that very much wants to be correct in my pronunciation of things. Attributes, though. So we've got strength. Strength measures the character's physical prowess and Dif directly affects the damage character deals with physical combat, also contributes to the accuracy of melee attacks. High strength is essential for warriors, particularly if they want to wield two-handed weapons and is nearly as critical for rogues. Okay, so that's important for rogues. Dexterity. How do I hover over this? There we go. Can I pull from points? No. Okay. Uh, dexterity, please. Dexterity is the measure of agility, reflexes, balance, high dexterity improves the character chances to hit makes the character more likely to dodge incoming blows, contributes to the damage dealt by piercing weapons like daggers or arrows. Archery and dual weapon fighting styles demand high dex to master, making this an attribute a favorite for rogues. So it sounds like dex and strength currently is what we need. Willpower represents the character's determination mental fortitude. With high willpower, mages can cast more spells thanks to a deeper mana pool for warriors and rogues. Willpower grants more stamina for combat techniques and special attacks. Okay, so stamina bar for rogues. We've got magic is the measure of a character's natural affinity for the arcane. This attribute is critical for mages since it directly increases a character's spell power score, which determines the potency of all spells. Magic attributes also attribute also determines how effective potions, poultices, and salves are for all classes. Interesting. 
cunning. Determines how well a character learns and reasons. Most skills such as herbalism or combat tactics require a mind to master and an observant eye can more easily find weaknesses in enemy armor. Rogues benefit most from this statistic as many of their class abilities and special attacks rely on subtly reading the target or not raw strength. And then we've got Constitution. Represents health and resilience. Higher Constitution directly increases the amount of damage a character can take before falling on the battlefield. So basically, damage... Uh, this just, I guess, is required for our melee weapons if we go that way. Uh, willpower is stamina bar. Then we've got uh, poultice efficacy or whatever. Cunning, which is important for rogue skills. And then constitution, which is health. So I think we'll go... Hmm... Let's see. Let's increase dex. Let's increase strength to four, to 15. And is nearly as critical for rogues. So it sounds like it is important. Then we'll increase dexterity up to 20. We'll go kind of glass cannony, which is always my play style of choice. Okay, now what do we have? We've got skills. Coercion. This character is influ influential enough to convince others to change their views. Strength contributes to a more intimidating character, whereas cunning contributes to a more persuasive character. I'd rather be cunning, persuasive. Stealing. Quick enough to pilfer small items from others, whether friendly or hostile, as long as they're not too alert. We've got trap making. Has learned to construct basic traps and lures out common components. We've got survival can detect the presence of nearby creatures below the character's own level. The skill also grants a small bonus to nature resistance. Got herbalism. Character can make simple potions, poultices, and salves. We've got poison making, which we already have. Character has survived the difficult learning process of making simple poisons and grenades. We've got combat training. Character has completed basic combat training. Warriors and rogues gain access to first tier weapon talents. Mages can take more damage from an attack before it interrupts their spell casting. And then we've got combat tactics. Character can formulate strategies quickly in battle and consequently gains a combat uh, tactics slot. So what does this one do? Improved combat training. Warriors and rogues gain access to second tier weapon talents as well as a bonus to stamina regen. Mages can take more damage from an attack before it interrupts their spell casting gains a bonus to mana regen. Okay, I think we take this and we go next. And then we've got two talents. Okay, so for the rogue. Dirty fighting, which we already have. The rogue incapacitates a target who takes no damage from the attack, but is stunned for a short time. Okay, we've got below the belt. The rogue delivers a swift and unsportsmanlike hit kick to the target, dealing normal combat damage, as well as imposing penalties to defense and movement speed unless the target passes a physical resistance check. This is so D&D. &D. Deft hands. All rogues have some understanding of opening locks and spawning traps, particularly dexterous hands has a steady grip. Gives the character a bonus when picking locks or dismantling traps. The character's cunning score also contributes to these skills. We've got stealth. The rogue has learned to fade from view, although perceptive enemies may not be fooled. Taking any action behind movement, including engaging combat or using items, will still will still attract attention if the rogue initiates combat while still stealthed. The first strike is an automatic critical hit or backstab. Interesting. We've got dual weapon stuff. Okay, so we could go dual daggers, which is typically how I like to play. We've got archery, which apparently is bad in Dragon Age Origins, so I think we skipped the archery. I think I tried going archer my first playthrough, and everybody was telling me it's really bad. Uh, I don't know if it actually is or not, but yeah, maybe we go dual weapon here. Dual weapon training. Let's see. The characters become more proficient fighting with two weapons and now deals closer to normal damage bonus with the offhand weapon. We've got dual striking and dual weapon sweep. I think we will take dual weapon training. And then we've got another talent. Let's see. Dual weapon finesse. This character is extremely skilled at wielding a weapon each hand, getting bonuses to attack and defense. Let's go for that as well. And then play. Please select a difficulty level. I think we'll go normal on this one. Let's do it. Love to click on any of your characters. Take control of him or her. Try positioning each of your characters for tactically. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyever, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. 
The appearance of the Darkspawn in the South has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the King a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm Oof. sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Okay, so the type of character that I want to play is my typical type of character. Very snarky and cocky uh, rogue type. And I, th I like the idea that he's also a part of like a noble family, but is kind of the troublemaker, if that makes sense. So I'm going to probably silently read all these options and then choose the one that I want the most. Was I brought here for a reason? Since your brother is leading our forces south, and I'm going with the Arl, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. What? Why can't I go into battle with you and Fergus? I'm certain you'd more than prove yourself, but I am not willing to deal with your mother if you join the war. She'd kill me if I let you go. She's already twisted into knots about Fergus and me going. If you don't send me, I'll kill you? Jesus. Let me talk to her. I'll convince her. I doubt that. You know your mother, and she made it clear there is no debate. This is no needless task. I ask you to take a great responsibility. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. I don't know if we should go so far as to say, is there a reason I should care? Like, I don't think we're going to be that much of a jerk. They defeated the Darkspawn long ago. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Sorry for those random alerts. I literally pause alerts from my Twitch channel uh, when I record, and it doesn't work. I don't know why. I literally put them on pause, and there's still random, like, sounds. So that's what that is. Thank you for the follows, though, if that happens. Uh, let's see. Honor, though, that might be. This is, one of my, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I think I'd rather like that idea. Is there a reason I shouldn't join them? I have no interest in becoming a Grey Warden. Yeah, I don't think we would enjoy becoming a Grey Warden. I've no interest in becoming a Grey Warden. Well, Duncan, he is not interested. So unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription... Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? I doubt I have to be here for that. I doubt I have to be here for that, do I? Yes, you do. Duncan is an honored guest, and it's your duty to make him welcome here. Is that clear? In the meantime, find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Where is Fergus? Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. So I did start as a human noble once a long time ago. I borrowed this game from my friend. 
and I did go through like just the very beginning. So I have no idea how being a human noble affects the game. Um, the only true playthrough I've done, like I said, is of the elf uh, city elf, I think. Yeah, I definitely wasn't dollish or dalish. Tutorial tactical view. The game can be played from a variety of tactical viewpoints. Use the mouse wheel to bring your camera down to explore. Exploration mode, scroll forward. Tutorial issuing orders. While paused, you can issue orders to your character. Right click on your desired destination. Whee! Tutorial issuing orders. Your character now has a move order. You can issue orders in real time or while paused, press space to unpause now. New quest, Soldier's Pass. New Codex, Feast Day Gifts Credits. New Codex, Feast Day Pranks Credits. New Codex, Duncan, Plot Helpers. New Codex, High Aver. Plot Helpers are markers on your current... Huh? New Quest, Father's Task. Plot Helpers are markers on your current area map that indicate where you need to go to progress in your active quest. Okay. Thank you. Expiration, use the WASD keys. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we must help father. We must go find our brother. So I'm trying to understand exactly what's going on here. Uh, do we know where we need to go? He said that he's upstairs, right? Uh, and Good I'm evening, assuming we can talk to them more, perhaps. But I don't know if that really is pertinent at the moment. Yeah, they said he's upstairs, right? I don't know if we have a quest marker or not in the top there right. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Why are you looking for me? Hello to you too, Sir Gilmore. Good thing too, considering father's company. Hello to you too, Sir Gilmore. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Nan is just blowing off steam. She's always been like that. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Then I guess I should go collect him. That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? To the kitchen, then. Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. New quest, mischief in the larder. And we've got a new party member, Sir Gilmore, which we might have to actually use, maybe. So they said to follow the yelling. There's something going on up there, obviously. Uh, I might have to check the map. I don't know what the larder actually is is this kind of looks like maybe it is not at all can we interact with the bookshelves perhaps let's see uh yeah let's press m i'm assuming for the map there we go okay so there's a quest marker there cook mischief in the larder so yeah okay cool so it's directly over here to the left Good hello evening. there god okay by the way i'm gonna be working on this voice uh what was it alt to see everything we can interact with I'm going to be working on the voice for this character. A lot of people give me crap for my voices, but it's usually 50-50. Like, some people really like them, some people really don't like them. Just let me figure out the voice that I want for the character, and then we'll stick with it. Uh, I like voicing right, stuff. All right. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. That's a little harsh. Perhaps you should lock your larder tighter. If I locked it any tighter, we couldn't get in. Oh dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. Well, get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Okay, I don't like this person. Tutorial inventory and equipment. To equip new items, you'll need to open the inventory screen. Do so now by clicking on the highlighted icon or by pressing I. To unequip, drag an item from its icon on the left side of the screen back into your inventory. Remove your character's armor or clothing now. Uh, okay... Why? <laughs> to equip, drag items from inventory directly onto your character or the appropriate icon spaces. Replace your armor or clothing now. Okay, that's going to be very weird for the NPCs. For easy access to consumable items, place them in your quick bar. Drag an item to your quick bar now. We have a lesser health, po he lesser health poultice, which we'll put there. 
Okay, looks like that's it. Okay, uh, we'll open the door. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Yeah, so this is a Mabari Warhound, and they are, like, beefy as heck with, like, massive teeth. Uh, let's see. I think we would love our dog. Are you trying to tell me something, boy? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait. Did you hear that? Please enter a name for the dog. Oh, crap. You're really going to make me do this? Think on the spot. Um, I know Barkspawn is a joke name that people, and I think I did that in my other playthrough. Maybe? Uh, yeah, Barkspawn instead of Darkspawn. But we'll go with uh, our family dog that I was very close to, Sydney. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call him Sydney. New Codex Dogs in Ferelden. Are you going to give me a combat tutorial or this is the one thing you're not going to give me a tutorial on you are in a combat situation mastery of the battlefield is important zoom out scroll backward in combat to gain a better view of your situation you can also pause for tactical preparation by pressing space are you really not going to give me a tutorial for combat okay you got a whole bunch of rats very typical in rpgs i think we're just going to what right click and then press space we can obviously send everybody to do other stuff but it should be fine yeah and then we can pause as well. Got to get used to the controls again. Get these oh my god, that's so many rats. Looks like we have really good damage, honestly. Good? Still more? Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Exactly. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Oh, he was a good boy. It certainly looks that way. Those were rats from the Kokari Wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Sounds good, Sir Gilmore. New Codex Sydney. Combat basics. You're in a combat situation. I am not. Uh, there's something you can hold. It's like Control or Alt. Is it not Alt? Is it Tab? There we go. Tab. Yeah, you can hold Tab to see what you can loot. Remember there was something. Lesser health poultice and a blood dragon plate requires 38 strength. We'll take all there. And let's see. We'll keep holding tab. We can loot the wooden crate. Let's go check that out. We get less, lesser health poultice and another blood dragon plate. Okay. Uh, we'll take all there as well. All right. Hopefully I don't miss any quests. I'm not really sure all the stuff that I can do. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Actually, he was defending your larder from rats. Big ones. What? Rats? Not the large gray ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will. See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. I took care of it. No need to be afraid. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then. Take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Literal bloody Thank dog. You, now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. They're not standing about. I mean, like, they are, but, like, what else are they going to do? Jeez, you need to relax. Okay, so now we got a new uh, party member, our Mabari Warhound. And where must we go? We can see here. This is where we have to talk to Fergus for father's, for father's task. So let's see. We take a left. I think I can memorize up here on a map. Hopefully I'm not blocking anything. I put my webcam in a certain spot here. Hello. Hello. Dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled. I almost thought that was voiced by Catelyn Stark, the uh, the lady who plays Catelyn Stark, but I think not. Uh, let's see. Nan's head exploded and my hound ate the kitchen staff. Well, at least one of us will have had a decent dinner. 
Perhaps your hound left something I can feed my guests. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. <laughs> Weren't you drunk? Of course. It's good to see you again, my lady. I think we would be smart about keeping, you know, political uh, manners. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to just say, "Weren't you drunk?" As funny as that would be. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family too. Jeez. You remember my son, Dairon. He's riding with your father tomorrow. It's good to see you again, my lord. And you, Dairon. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Perhaps, uh, we should speak alone sometime, Iona. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. And also to you, <gasps> my lady. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Did you know there's a Grey Warden here? Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. The Dark Swan have uh, definitely not. Keep it that way. You've enough to do here at the castle without chasing Dark Spawn. Her voice is familiar to me. Do you know where Fergus might be? If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. Why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off. But we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? Yes, I understand. Trust me. You'll get your chance for excitement soon enough. Do you know where Fergus might be? I have a bad feeling about all this. Are you are you staying at the castle? For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Ah. As you wish. Good. I was worried you might be nervous about running the castle alone. I needn't have been concerned. I should go. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? I'm hardly a boy any longer. Indeed. I turned around, and here you are. A fine man in your own right. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. Go do what you must, then. I will see you soon. Goodbye, mother. Dialogue so far is extremely good. Like, honestly, I'm surprised at the quality of this dialogue. But Bioware always has, I think, had great dialogue for their really uh, well-known games. Now okay, let's see. Right-click to open. It looks like Fergus is over this away. It's Fergus, my brother. Is really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, sword Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Ugh, you two are nauseating me. <laughs> when there's a woman in your life, you'll understand. Ouch. No fewer than three, if you please. Bold words, little brother. I mean a real woman, not a turn in the straw. Fergus, language! You like to play in the stable, too, Uncle. I like to hide in the hay. Don't you listen to this. If I catch you with your clothes full of straw again, I'll send you to Mother Malol. But Mama, she talks forever. I feel like this little kid would not have such a cockney accent if he was a noble, right? But I don't know. Uh, let's see. Did you know there's a Grey Warden in the castle? Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? He says he's recruiting. Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little brother, I'd have my eye on you. 
Not that father would ever allow it. I wish I could go with you. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. Yeah, it makes sense that they wouldn't put both brothers in the war. You'll be missed, brother. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Do you really think the war will be over quickly? Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead. So little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. Fergus will be fine. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Jeez. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? That's a, a wench, wench, my boy. is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? You'll need protecting more than her. I agree. Especially if you get yourself hurt. I will never forgive you. Now that is a good incentive, wouldn't you say? <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. New Codex, Dark Spawn. Wonder so it seems like, yeah, we can talk to other people. I wonder if we could talk to Oriana. If you should need any assistance in the coming days. Best do as your father glad says, darling. So I think I if they have different the colored right names, now. you can talk to them, like Fergus and our father here. Getting sent to bed early, are we? I'd still rather be going with you. I'd rather that too. It'd be fun fighting side by side. Maybe next time. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone, and be here when I get back. Will do, my brother. Let's see if his name has changed. It hasn't. Oh, I wish I was staying. It's damn cold. You should be on your way, pup. Here. Long day ahead tomorrow. About this Grey Warden. Ah, I was wondering how long this would take. Has he asked to recruit you? No, why would I want to be recruited? If a blight is truly upon us in the south, then Grey Wardens will be needed. There is no higher calling. If it comes to that, we can talk about it when I get back. Until then, just show him every courtesy. Duncan is a fine man. And a hero. Is sending all of our forces south a good idea? When the king demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south would be a distinctly bad idea. Don't worry, pup. You shouldn't see many problems, but I want you to prepare the men left here, in case. Are you sure you'll be all right? Your brother and I go into battle, not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my cherished son. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear boy. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. I'll go now. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a fine lad. That much is clear. Well, I actually don't know what happens. Um, I think I did get through the intro, but seeing how much I like this family, I'm guessing they all die, and I actually don't know. But I'm just assuming the worst happens here, and something bad happens uh, before the event. Or maybe they die on the battlefield. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember how far I got. I did not get very far when I borrowed this game from my friend way back when.
What's wrong, boy? Is someone out there? My lord, help me! The castle is under attack! Yikes! Well, let's equip some armor, huh? Can we do that? Okay, let's see. We got leather gloves that are rough. Can I double click? Leather boots that are rough. Leather armor that's rough. Dagger, iron, dagger, iron. Uh, can I double, can I dual wield? Good. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we can pause with space. And let's see, what do we have? We have dirty fighting. The rogue incapacitates a target who takes no damage from the attack but is stunned for a short time. So let's right click them and then let's do dirty fighting. Let's see what happens. Dirty fighting. So we get stunned. And then we can right click to deal some damage here. And since we have dual wielding, we should be dealing normal damage. Good. And then dirty fighting is still on cooldown. But we'll press it when we can. A uh, how archer? Oh. Okay, is that it for combat? Good. Okay, so let's hold tab to see what we can loot. We've got a chest here, which has lesser health poultice, elf root, and blood dragon. What is with these blood dragon plates? Why are they everywhere? Uh, oh, the chest is here. Okay, the items are here, I see now. I was like, why is... So what, then why do I only have three? Shouldn't I have like a whole bunch? Okay, so small grease trap and lesser health poultice. Okay, so we didn't see what we looted the other times. What else do we have? We can loot this guy down here, the Hao soldier. So we know they're Hao people, which was the guy that our father was talking to, right? We've got short bow elm and some, what is that? Copper, it looks like. Okay, castle. Oh my bloody god. Okay, so we will right click this guy, then do dirty fighting. And then this guy will attack from behind. No, the other guy, well, he's stunned. Probably should go for this guy since he's lower health. Good job, Sydney. Great job. Okay, not too shabby. Darling, I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? I'm fine. What's going on? A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? Betrayal, clearly. He's betrayed father. He attacks while our troops are gone. You don't think Hal's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. No, I haven't. I was in my room. We must find him. Can you still handle a weapon, mother? I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. Ah, that's so cool we actually get our mom in our party. Tutorial leveling up. Every time you gain a level, your character gains new abilities and improved statistics. Left click on the plus button next to your character's portrait to level up. Okay, so we've got a level up here. What do we have? Three attributes. Uh, I think I'm going to get dex up to 20. And then we've got no specialization yet. Yeah, yeah, this is just like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, which is very cool. Uh, then we've got more of this. Let's see. Expert combat train. Characters seen more battles than even a seasoned soldier and gain small bonus to attack. Warriors and rogues gain access to third tier weapon talents. Major, mages can take more damage from an attack before it interrupts their spell casting. Why not just take this, right? Feels like that's the best one to get. And we got another talent. Uh, let's see. We can get some dual weapon stuff. Okay, we're going to not get archery. We can get a whole bunch of weird, like, rogue abilities. Uh, opening locks and spawning traps, particularly dexterous hands and steady grip, give the character a bonus when picking locks or disarming traps. The character's cunning score also contributes to these skills. Let's go with lock picking, I think. Yeah, we'll get a bonus to lock picking. We'll be a lock picker and then play. And then we've got a level up for our uh, dog, Bark Spawn. Uh, Sydney, not, not Bark Spawn. Uh, I think we'll give him some constitution up to 20. Give him some health, and it looks like that's it. Okay, let's move Perhaps on. Salvage some things here, darling. Perhaps so indeed. Are in that trunk. Okay, we've got some elf root achievement unlocked lock picker. I guess this game tracks achievements. Oh, did I lock pick that without even realizing? Dagger, greatsword, longbow, small shield. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff which we're not really going to use because we've already got stuff. I kind of wish they didn't just give me a setup already. Let's loot this guy. 
mace and six copper. And then where are we headed? Uh, let's explore a little bit. Looks like this is something. No, my little Oren. What manner of fiend slaughters innocence? Oh, jeez. I'll make them pay. I was not even taking hostages. He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor Fergus. Let's go. I don't want to see this. Wow, so that's Fergus and, and his wife? Jeez, that's awful. Okay, now let's see. What's even worse is we can't loot them. Okay, looks like we're going. That's where we started. I wonder what the X on the map Can I get means. You a ladder to okay, so let's pause. So with us, we will go for the archer back here. With Bark Spawn, or with Sydney, we'll go for them. And with Mother, what is she, a warrior? Precise striking? Yeah, it looks like she's a warrior. Uh, we will also go for the archers. And Can break. My back. <laughs> Watching the health bars up here. Okay, this guy's about to die. Let's go for this guy. Actually, let's hit this guy and stun him. And then I don't think we have any backstab stuff yet. Or maybe we do. There is hope yet. Maybe we actually do. Okay, I love how this game like auto loots uh, right, if it's just right. gold. Oh, dear Landra. Oh, Landra. I'm so sorry. She's dead if too. She wow. Hadn't come to me. If she hadn't been here. Okay, let's go check out this room. Yeah, so everybody we met is now dead, which is not cool at all. I'll get on it. Okay, we've got blank vellum. Vellum is like some sort of paper, I remember. We've got a little room to the left up here. Let's see if there's Can anything in here. Housemen must be everywhere. I don't want you in danger, mother. My only grandchild is a ravaged corpse. What do I care about danger? The front gates. That's where your father must be. We can't just let Hal win. Listen, darling. We haven't much time. If we can't find your father, you must get out of here alive. Without you and Fergus, the entire Kusin line dies here. If Hal's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servant's entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? I want Hal dead. Then survive and visit vengeance upon him. Will do, mother. You've always kept a cooler head than I. Okay, we've got a knight corpse here with a dagger, gray iron. I don't think we have any upgrades to our uh, normal weapons just yet. Let's go this way. So now we're trying to find a larder. Okay. The castle has fallen. I'm getting out of here. Don't be a coward. Stand and fight. Yes, my lord. Here, here they come. Okay, looks like we got pretty good damage. So far, let's go for this Mabari Warhound. Who is pretty dang strong, actually. Okay, our health bars are up here, and I guess our stamina bars are here. Okay, let's go for this guy and stun him. And then go back for the Mabari. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the backstab damage does do something. There's a different animation for it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think we also restore back to full outside of uh, battles, if I remember right. Metal shard. What else do we have? Lesser health poultice. Or maybe we don't restore back to full. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Yeah, so 8, 9, 9 damage, but then if we get behind him, it looks like we get automatic crits. Okay, let's stun one of these guys. On your guard, wretch. On your guard, wretch. There is hope yet. 
There is indeed hope yet, bandage mother. Me, I, shall be able to continue. Uh, I don't know if I have to bandage you, mother. I feel like we restore health automatically in between fights, do we not? Yeah, there you go. You're all good. Okay, let's see. Let's go loot this How Archer. Who has a life stone. Not sure what that is. And another house soldier there. And then this will be a good place to end, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, very excited for this playthrough. Hope that you are too. Remember, if you are, leaving likes, leaving comments, subscribe with the bell turned on. All helps out the series to grow. And if you want to become a patron, consider checking out the link below. Or if you want to catch me live on Twitch, check out the link below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.